Professor Ngahuia Te Aue Kōtuku is a social researcher and author of fiction and poetry and a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit. Now she can add television presented to that list with the launch of a new documentary called Waharoa, Art of the Pacific, making her the first wahine Moko to present a series like this on television. Art historian Professor Ngahuia Te Aue Kōtuku no Te Aroa Tūhoia Mē Waikato is with us now. Tēnā koe, Professor Ngahuia, thank you for joining us. Talk us through Waharoa. What's the series about? It's about Māori and Pacifica art and how new forms and new media evolved in the 20th century and brought us through till now. Because from the times of Aokroa and Kuikuia in the world of art, um, we became really impacted by a whole range of different experiences of different realities. And um, naturally, as a creative people, we responded to those impacts. And Waharoa is a gateway or a portal which is going to take the people watching the show through and into wow. Te Ao Māori and Te Ao Pacifica. Mm. Yeah, love it. Waharoa, the series premieres next week. Look, you've travelled all over the motu from Dunedin to Russell in search of some stunning works. Were you able to, to find some of these artworks or how were you able to find some of these artworks and artists? Oh, gosh, that's a good question. I... Um, I grew up in Te Ao Māori here in Ohinemutu, and my kuia and my whānau are very active weavers, carvers, art makers, composers. So it's something that was around me as a child here in Ngāti Whakaui. And um, I've always been passionate about beauty and about seeing beauty as a way of expressing not only joy, but grief and rage and all the different emotions and experiences mm. of our lives. And I think for me, um, I grew up as a teenager um, meeting with and talking to lots of extraordinary creatives. And on arriving in Auckland in the mid-1960s, um, I was very privileged to be sitting in the same room or in the same hotel as um, some extremely significant and awesomely talented people, Māori people. And, um, and they are the ones um, to whom I pay tribute and most of all whose work I want to share with everyone out there. Wow, that's incredible. Was there any that particularly surprised you that you that you might have had a, a particular connection with around their art? All of them. Yeah. Um, everyone. Um, I think as a female, there are certainly some incredibly courageous and um, groundbreaking creatives who have made some quite astonishing decisions in their own practice. And rather than name them, I'd say, um, um, So, yes, with the women artists, um, of course, I have a strong affinity and with their work and the content of their work. But um, my rango, I think, and this is one of the things I wanted to do in this um, series. Um, ko te ao wahine, ko te ao tāne, ko te mm. mano o te wahine, te mano o te tāne. Um, he, he honunga. You know that um, although the guy's work has always been noticed much more because I think you're much noisier and... Um, tend to be a lot more forceful in presentation um, and self-promotion. 
I think that there has always been a very gracious and um, exquisite symmetry and balance and harmony. You just look at our big houses, like Tamate Kapua, like uh, Whaiato Motu, like Hoki Tūranga, and, and you'll see that all the work in that house, all the memories, all the stories, are shared and told not just by the carvings, yeah. but by the tukutuku, by the cork whaiwhai, by the work of women. And um, so that's what I think Wahadua uh, will do as well. Oh, I could be talking to you for ages, <laughs> but we've got, to, we've, got to, we've got to cut it there. Art historian, Professor Ngahui at Te Awe Kōtuku, thank you so much for joining us today and congratulations on your new series. Ngā mihi. Kia ora, thank you, Neil.